Hey, what's up everybody? Scott with Integrity. This is the video you've all been waiting for. The video about how to enable and use BitLocker. Now, my most popular video was about this. And then it turned out that I mislabeled that video. It actually wasn't about BitLocker at all. It was about something else. So this is the video about BitLocker. I'm going to try to make it quick. Now, as a BitLocker comes with Windows 10. I believe it also comes with Windows 8. It's a built-in encryption software okay in the past you had to buy stuff or use various freeware bitlocker is excellent okay um i encrypt all my computers um with bitlocker it's great for it's great if your computer um gets like let, let's say for instance um like gets stolen it can keep people from getting into it if someone removes the drive tries to read it in another computer they won't be able to and so on it's just a great security measure so there's a couple different scenarios where you might um, enable BitLocker. If your computer has a TPM, then it has a piece of hardware inside that um, essentially recognizes the hard drive and will automatically unlock it. Um, the computer automatically it won't require a password or anything like that. Now, my computer does have a TPM. Now, a lot of computers don't have TPM. So you have to go to a special place and tell the computer to allow you to use BitLocker anyway. And here's how you do that. gpedit.msc, local group policy editor. Don't worry about that. That's just on my computer. No, I actually don't remember where to go off the top of my head. I'm going to take a guess at it. Computer configuration, admin, uh, maybe system. No, I think... Windows components, BitLocker. Okay, computer configuration, admin templates, Windows components, BitLocker. Then you wanna to go to operating system drive. I like to um, filter these by, al um, by alphabetical order. What you want is this one, require additional authentication to start up. Double click and enable. And right, you wanna have this box right here checked. Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. So if your computer does not have a TPM, you can still use BitLocker, but this has to be enabled and that box has to be checked, okay? Now, I'm not going to, now you would apply and okay. I'm not gonna do that because I do have a TPM because I have an enterprise grade laptop and that's just kind of part of the deal. Let me show you how you turn it on. Now, if you just had to do that, then you probably have to reboot your computer first, okay? Open up File Explorer, click on this PC. Find your primary drive, highlight it, right click, turn on BitLocker. This computer actually is not encrypted and it should be. I think it's because I recently upgraded it to an SSD. So backing up your recovery key, this is really important. If you, for some reason, lose your, your encryption password or get locked out of the computer or the drive is separated from the computer and you need to access it, this is your only way to do it, the recovery key. You lose the recovery key, it is impossible to get in. No one will ever get into it. There are people that have actually died in their wills and unwritten, unpublished books and things like that are on encrypted hard drives and no one can get it. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to save it to a file. Okay. I'm going to put it on this computer for now, which is not like a great idea, but it works. Actually, it won't even let me do that. So, wow. Okay. That's okay. Um, let's try this. I wonder if I could save it to my iPhone. No, it won't let me do that. So, I'm just troubleshooting my way through it. Real life right here. Okay. I'm going to try to print. Now, my printer's offline. I've got to go turn it on real quick. Let me hit the power button. I don't use my printer very often, so it's usually off. So, that will print in time. So, I want to encrypt the used space only. Okay. That's just my choice. 
new encryption mode. You could run BitLocker system check. I'm not going to be because I don't really care because there's really nothing on this computer ever, anyway. All my files and everything important are in data centers with Google Drive or uh, email server somewhere. I mean, honestly, this shouldn't even be an issue. So it's encrypting. And down here in my tray, it's going to show me the progress. And that's all there is to it. I mean, it's that easy. But remember, okay, remember, you've got to save this information, okay? I worked for a client who forgot his BitLocker pin, and we could not find a recovery key for him. Thankfully, we finally found it, and we're able to unlock his computer. Had we not found it, there is nothing that could have been done. So you want to you know, print this, save it to a file somewhere, save it somewhere where it will never be lost. Um, otherwise, maybe don't encrypt your computer, but this is how you use BitLocker.